Mac OS 12.0.1 release candidate number two is officially out and this update is a notch higher than the previous one. This that you are seeing here is a notch and also this that you are seeing here is also a notch but I'm talking about something slightly different which I would like to show you in this video. What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So this update comes out two days since the release of release candidate number one, and it hasn't really given me enough time to do a follow-up video on 11.0.1 release candidate number one. So in a sense, I will just do a video on RC number two. And as you can see here, the update size for me came in at exactly 919.1 megabytes. It's actually less than a gig and this should tell you what to expect in terms of new features or changes when it comes to this update just in case you are curious I'm updating from 11.0.1 RC number one on my 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro now this is not all that Apple released today they did release one other update so if you go to the Apple developer page you can see that they released iPad OS 15.1 release candidate number two and this update is exclusive to the iPad mini 6. Now, most of these Apple updates I do cover here on the channel at Half Men Half Tech. So if you want to keep up to date with such updates and Apple related content, then a sub to the channel would be appreciated. Now, I've already updated my Mac that you are seeing here. And so let's begin by looking at the software changes that came with this update. So if we go to the About This Mac section and see the software version that came with this update, you can see that we have an updated build number the version is still the same 12.0.1 and the build number that we have here is 21a559 before on release candidate one we had 21a558 so that is a notch change very minor that came with this update and also if we go to see the system storage or microwave storage being taken up by this update you can see that for me it's taking up 16.86 gigs and that is exactly the same as release candidate number one now i would like to let you know that this macOS 12.0.1 rc number two was released today to public beta testers and developer beta testers as well so you can update to it if you have the public profile and also the m1 ipsw file was also made available when it comes to the new features and new changes that came with mac os 11.0.1 release candidate number two coming from rc number one myself i gotta say that i haven't seen any major change when it comes to universal control or when it comes to share play in facetime this update is more of a bug fix and a stability fix update for most people that are going to be updating to it. Now, I have an experience that I would like to share with you when it comes to RC number one that has been resolved by this release candidate number two. So what you are seeing here is actually a video of what was happening on release candidate number one when I was restarting my device. So at one time, it happened like a day after the update. So I restarted my Mac and as you can see here, it booted up in a locked out mode so i would try different keys and the only key that would work as you can see there was the caps lock and most of the other keys as you can see here they were unresponsive you couldn't type a password or anything like that so i decided why not power cycle the mac again to see whether this issue would be fixed but as you can see my mac again booted up in a locked out mode same thing the keys didn't work you couldn't type a password so as you can see here for me to be able to try and revive my mark i had to actually press the d button and boot up my mark that way and once i did that it actually booted up and i was able to input my passcode and as you can see my mark was working again this is quite a serious issue if you have like important things that you want to do and uh, you might actually get stuck in a boot loop so i was quite hesitant when this mac os 12.0.1 rc2 came out i was like what if my mac gets stuck in a boot loop but i would like to 
let you know that at least as far as I've been, as much as I've been using this RC number two for about five hours now, this bug hasn't yet appeared. I've restarted my Mac like three times. So, so far, this bug seems like it was resolved. And the second issue that I experienced when it comes to RC number one that has been resolved with RC two has to do with the restart bug that I was experiencing. So every time again, I would restart my Mac, I would get this screen that would tell me that your Mac restarted because of a problem. Even though this was a restart that I initiated myself and there will be like a countdown timer that says if you do nothing, your Mac will log in in the x number of seconds as you can see here so this bug has also been resolved for me when it comes to rc number two so it's a bug fix update and these were exclusive for me and also another bug or something that i noticed that has been fixed with this update you know that when it comes to the pro apps for performance apple has updated them for best utilization and performance when it comes to the new macs that are going to be available next week so if you go into your app store and attempt to update you'll be able to see that these apps are available for updating over the air unlike what was happening before where you had to manually search up like imovie and then open it up and that's when you'd be able to see that there was an update so here the app store updates are are showing as it's supposed to be now when it comes to the release notes of this release candidate number two it actually doesn't seem to be that different coming from rc number one just some known issues and a few deprecation and in terms of what version will be released on monday since that is when mac os 12 is going to be coming out i would like to believe that apple is going to release mac os 12.0.1 to the general public so that is the update that you're going to see as an over the air update when you update to mac os 12 but as far as mac os 12.0 or 12.0.0 is concerned i think that that is going to be loaded in the new 14 and 16 inch macbook pros that are going to be shipping next week that's when they're going to be arriving so when you get your new 14 or 16 inch macbook pro it will most probably have mac os 12.0 or 12.0.0 and mac os 12.0.1 will be available for you as an over the air update once you get your new mac so that's what i think roughly it's kind of weird to see that apple is giving the first version of a new os to like people that are spending upwards of like three thousand or even six thousand dollars for a new mac and you get like mac os 12 hopefully you know they are able to wash out most of the bugs and issues since it's the first like point update for uh, mac os 12 now that's what i think and in terms of when this update is going to be released it's coming out on monday and in order for you to be able to go from the beta to the official release i feel like the build number that is going to come out on the official version is going to be exactly the same as what we have here on rc number two so if you want to be able to follow these updates using the official release if you don't want to be on the beta so you can go ahead and remove your developer or public beta profile and this will guarantee you that when this update comes out as like 12.0.1 with a different build you might be able to update to it or if you want to do this even like a, with an easier way you can actually delete your developer profile and on monday at around 10 a.m pacific standard time you can actually go to the app store and download the dmg file and load it into a flash and you can always update your mac to the official version once it comes out those are the two ways that are usually go from a beta to the official and that's about it for me when it comes to mac os 12.0.1 rc number two if i find something interesting that's worth sharing maybe i'll do a follow-up video but other than that stay safe and have a great uh weekend and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon